What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. So I've been out of town for about um, a week here and there. Like I was out of town two weeks ago for a week and then I just got back from being out of town again for about four days. So I've been really busy guys. Sorry about that. But back in business. Um, if you watched my last video, I talked about how I was getting some business cards made for um, public speaking. I think that would really help. So I got the proofs in. I'm going to show them to you guys real quick. So this is the front of the business card. Kudo public speaker. I think it looks really good. And then one second, let me get this other one here. Cover up my phone number. Okay, so this is the back of the card. Christian Kudo public speaker. Kudo public speaker. And then Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter logo. So I think it looks really good. I'm very pleased. I gave her a blueprint to kind of, like I just Googled business cards and gave her a like template that I thought would look really cool. And she basically recreated it like exactly. And I think it turned out very well. So yeah, about to drink my pre-workout, head to the gym. Um, and I'm gonna make a whole separate video on this, but I have switched from clean eating um, I've been doing that for years, and now I'm doing If It Fits Your Macros. A lot of people may know what that is, but I'm going to do a whole separate video on it. I think it's a much more effective way of dieting, and you're able to eat the food you like without having to just feel like you're on a diet all the time. So, yeah, make a separate video about that. I think it's going to be really good. But, um, yeah, guys, someone asked me about my freaking beer in the background. My girlfriend gave me that beer. She also gave me the SpongeBob and that little raccoon up there. Any stuffed animals you see is from my girlfriend. I don't just like buy stuffed animals, but oh, that's so cool. Let me keep it in my room. You know, I don't sleep with it. I just leave it there during the day. For the person that was wondering. Okay, so also I'm uh, I'm writing a book. Um, it's gonna be like just 40 pages. Really short. That is, that even includes the title page, the author's notes, the like acknowledgments at the end of the book. It's probably gonna be forty pages, maybe less to be honest. It's gonna be super short. I'm just gonna like it's gonna be free. It's gonna be an ebook. It's gonna be on uh, Amazon and Kindle. I made an account, but I haven't looked at it. And I think you can make it free. I'm pretty sure you can. But if not, it's just gonna be ninety nine cents, the lowest option you can go. I'm not really trying to make any money. I just think it'll help a lot of people. It's about me being in a wheelchair and how I used to be depressed and upset at like being in a wheelchair and how I was like, I felt like an outcast. And now I'm pretty, you know, I'm super happy, super energetic all the time. Um, I'm not where I want to be yet in life, but I'm very much, um, you know, way ahead of what I would consider my, like, like I'm 19 years old, but I feel like I'm doing really big things for my age. Um, but there's, there's always, like, there's plenty of people out there doing more than me. I'm not trying to say I'm all that or I'm, I'm amazing or anything. That's not what I mean. I just mean I feel like um, I have a lot of value I can give to people. So I'm writing that book. Um, you know, I got my business cards. Is this, this is kind of just like a little update video. Um, I just drank my pre-workout. I don't know if you can tell I'm talking super fast. About to go to the gym. And, um, yeah, I just want to kind of tell you guys that because, um, I haven't talked to you in like two weeks. Maybe more. It's been a while. So I'm just kind of trying to throw all this at you. And, um, just kind of give you a little update. About to be on track. I mean, I'm getting back on track tomorrow and the next day. And, uh, yeah. I'm glad to be back home. And, yeah. About to go to the gym.
Well guys, just got done working out. Pretty rough. Um, being out of town, I wasn't being, I wasn't able to keep on track with my workouts. Uh, I've been home for a couple days now, but it just, it takes a, it also takes a couple days to kind of get back on track. So check this out. I'm about to make some beef tortillas. Um, let me show you guys what I got. So my parents went to the store yesterday, and um, I got several things. I got some. Uh, ground beef and I got these. These are super good. It says a uh, carb counter, low carb tortillas. They are amazing. Look at the uh, look at the macros on this guys. So one of these is four and a half fat, only 14 carbs and nine of that carb is fiber. And then four grams of protein. So yeah guys, about to have one of these, uh, maybe two with some uh, 96 four ground beef and a little bit of cheese. But, yeah, I think I mentioned, I'm not sure, but I'm starting If It Fits Your Macros, guys. And it just, you know, it's, it makes a world of a difference. I haven't felt like I've been on a diet and, you know, the whole time I've been doing this. I wake up, I'm like, man, do I want some cereal? Do I want a, you know, an egg burrito? Do I just want to make some oatmeal, egg, sausage? Like, I can have anything I want, guys, for the most part. Because I'm, I'm eating around 1,800 calories. I eat um, 150 protein, 200 carb, and about 50 fat. So it doesn't matter if I get that from chicken breast, you know, brown rice, or broccoli, or if I get it from a tortilla with hamburger meat and shredded cheese, on, you know, melted in it. To me, that sounds much better than some chicken and brown rice broccoli. And, you know... Obviously, if you make something like this, the chicken and brown rice and broccoli and all that, it's gonna be higher volume, so you're gonna get fuller. But if you, as long as you have discipline and you hit your macros each day, it doesn't really matter how you get your food in, guys. Obviously, if you're doing a show, you're gonna be really low on calories. Eating two of these, maybe like half your day's worth of calories, half your day's worth of carbs. So obviously, you know, you want some common sense. Don't just like eat whatever, not Pop-Tarts and all that. But you can eat what you want, you know. So many people think you have to just cut out everything in order to lose fat. And that's just not the case, guys. So, um, I'll probably make a separate video just kind of explaining more on that. I'm just rambling. But, yeah, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to do about 10 minutes of cardio. Probably an hour or so after I cook this up and eat it. And, uh, yeah. Thank you for all the support, guys. Welcome back to the channel for the people that actually uh, subscribe and watch. All my videos, or most of them, I'm back. Videos are coming in hot. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.